Hello everybody. Welcome back. If you are new, I'm Jan and thank y'all for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, y'all may have thought I wasn't coming back. I was beginning to wonder myself if I'm being honest with you, but today you can see you are faced with my very hot crock pot. In goes a brown gravy mix. And this is about a three quarter cup of hot water. A little garlic powder. So about half a tea, half a teaspoon. Onion powder. Definitely an entire, well, an entire teaspoon if I have that much left in this one. Come on. Okay. However much that was, that's enough. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of salt. Actually, at least a half a teaspoon of salt. And one more ingredient that's in my refrigerator. Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm going to add one, two, three, four. Four, four gloves. And then, I'm going to put this closer if y'all can see it. Anyway, we're just whisking this all in. Eventually, I'm going to figure out how to hang a camera from the ceiling. Smells good already. All right, you see that? Just some beautiful brown gold. Okay. This is half of about a medium sized onion. I just cut it in half. Woo! Or rather, that is an entire. Maybe even a small onion. I just cut it in half and I'm putting the two big chunks in there. And I'm going to fish them back out later. That's why they're not diced up. Now then, I'm going to put the lid on. Let that onion start working its magic. And we're going to go brown some meat. Here we have about a pound and a half of beef tips. I dug out a new onion powder. Garlic, salt, pepper. Got these good and coated. Now let's go to the stove and get them brown. Okay, y'all. I got two tablespoons of veg oil in here. All we're wanting to do is brown these. And the reason we want to brown them is so that they give them even more flavor.
we'd be, you know, we should, you know, not put them all in here at the same time, but I'm the only one eating them, so I don't care. You want to spread them out so they, they can all get some brownies. I don't think that would be too bad. Oh, gosh, that smells good. Gonna add a few gloves. In here. You can flour them if you want to also. Um, but because I'm using that brown gravy packet, that's why I didn't flour these first. Mm, I wish y'all could smell this. And the good thing is that these will brown up very quickly. But y'all, this is strictly for added flavor. There's no other reason to do it. Alright y'all, now we're headed back to the counter. Uh, come on, stay there. Alright y'all, here we go. If I don't make a mess. Whoop, I don't have anything over here with me. Let's see if we can use this. Yeah, that worked. And you want all that yummy. Real quick, I'm going to put a little bit of water in here. Take my wooden spoon. Get all this off the bottom. And I do mean a little bit of water. Every bit of those brown bits just add even more flavor. And here we go. Can y'all see it better now? I got you a little higher up, but. Now. Alright. So these are going to cook on high for. Let's say about three hours. Um, yeah. I'll say three hours. And I deliberately did not add potatoes in this. Because I want mashed potatoes with my. Beef tips. I know a lot of folks prefer rice, but uh, I'm just a mashed potato girl, and I'm obsessed with those uh, ranch mashed potatoes right now. So I will see y'all back in, I don't know, I'll come back and show you how they're looking in an hour. This is my last pack of these ranch mashed potatoes. I'm going to have to go find some more. I still cannot find these in any grocery store here. The only place I am still finding them is at Dollar General. So if you have a Dollar General where you live, please go get you some of these and try them. Everybody that I fed them to love, love, love them and thought that I made them. I said, no, they come right out of that pack. So, um, but the point of this, on all these hot days, use your crock pot if you have one. If you don't have one, I mean, I think they're 20 bucks, maybe 10 bucks. I'm not sure. This one is very, very old, as you can see. Um, but get your crock pot and let it do the work for you so it doesn't heat your kitchen up. All right, here we go, y'all. This is at the hour mark. It actually looks like it's done because that gravy, I mean, the gravy is it's perfect. Exactly what you want it to be like. Um, that gravy packet that I put in there, uh, tells you on the back to add an entire cup of water. 
I only add, depending on whether I'm making a roast or this, I add either a half a cup or three quarters of a cup. In this case, I went ahead and added three quarters of a cup because I knew I was only going to add onion, which will also put off water, which is what helped make this gravy. Because if I had added the whole cup that the packet said, plus the onions, this would be pure water. And then when I'm doing a roast and I put potatoes in the bottom, I do only a half a cup because the potatoes plus the onion will put off water and it'll make the gravy thick and delicious. Even though they look like they're done, they still got, oh, I'd say about an hour. I might get lucky and it'd be 45 minutes. That would be nice because I'm ready to dig into some beef. Either way, I will see y'all back here shortly. Here we go. Beef tips and gravy, mashed potatoes, and some garlic. Sub buns. Don't know about y'all, but this has been three hours in the making, and I am hungry. These beef tips are fall apart tender, and the flavor... It's hard to explain. I just hope if y'all do this, you'll um, brown your meat first in a pan. It takes an extra five minutes, but it is so worth the flavor. Mm. Filling gravy all over me. These potatoes obviously need no gravy. I just put some on there anyway. Ooh. Hot, 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 hot. And then my favorite part, once I finish my beef tips and my potatoes, gravy. Mm. If I'm being completely honest, I could just sit and eat this. Mm, 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 mm. So now I'm going to go stuff my face until I'm whining later on about how full I am and how that I shouldn't have eaten this much. Um, but I'm going to enjoy every second of it. I truly thank y'all for being here. And I will see y'all very, very soon. Also, again, to people that don't know the recipes, um, don't know that there's a drop-down box right below the video. You'll see where I've started typing words like, uh, hey, I'm Jan, today we're making so-and-so, and you'll see the word more in bold print. If you would just click that word, a box will drop down, and you will see I have the recipe all typed out for you. I use a computer, so I'm not sure if it's harder to find maybe on a phone. Those of you who use phones. Um, but let me know if any of y'all have any problem getting to the description part. Um, because I make sure I type everything out for y'all. Because that's important to me that y'all can find absolutely everything that I put in anything. But again, thank y'all. And I'll see you very soon.